Hi everybody, this is Deanna. I'm coming to you again, uh, this time with another folio. And the finished size of this one is going to be 8 and 5 eighths high by 8 and 7 eighths inch wide. Um, so it's a, it's a nice size. And this is just my uh, sample. So this is going to flip up. And then this opens this way. And this opens this way. Got a little pocket in here. And then this is closed. Then you can open this this way. You got three more. And then this opens this way. You got three more. And they hold a four by six photo nicely. And you can get two on this page. You can get two of them. So even a five by seven would fit on there. And then once you close it up and you finish it, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And when we're done decorating, we're going to have another pocket that's right here. So that is the folio, and that's what we're going to be working on today. And I'm going to do it in, in black cardstock, and we're going to use authentic um, decorative papers. So to start, our first one is going to be 11 by 8.5 inch sheet of cardstock. And we're going to score that at 8 and 3 quarters. You're going to fold it and burnish it. This is your base page. Now what I did is I took a one inch strip of black cardstock and I cut it, um, I scored it at a half inch and then I cut two um, two and a quarter inch lengths. And those are going to go in here to make our pocket. So we're just going to glue those down. And always put your little flap inside. So it keeps your pocket open. This is a fairly simple little folio, but it ends up being kind of cute. Um, and I want to use up I have so much cardstock and deck or so much decorative cardstock that I really just want to start using some of it up because it doesn't do me any good just to hold on to it. And, and that's what I want to do because it's so pretty. And uh, I just want to hold on to it and just look at it. But, you know, I, I feel guilty buying any new product when I've got so much stock sitting here. Um, that's perfectly good. All right. So I'm gonna press that down. Make sure my volume is up here. Yep, it's all the way up. So, uh, all right. So that's our first page. Now, we're gonna take two sheets, 11 by eight and a half, and you're gonna cut them down to nine and a quarter inches. So they're going to be eight and a half by nine and a quarter. And you're going to score those at a half inch and four and seven eighths. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's do both of them at the same time. So on our nine and a quarter inch side, we're going to score at a half inch and four and seven eighths. Here we go. Now we're going to fold our hinge. The half inch is our hinge. We're going to fold that down so it's facing down. And then this one is going to fold in. So I'm going to fold and burnish. So you'll have this. You'll have a, your hinge will be facing down, and then your flap will fold in. Do that again. You're going to fold your hinge down. You're going to flip over, and you're going to fold the other part in. I'm just going to give that a good score, or a good burnish there. There we go. So we have two of them. One's going to go on our left, and one's going to go on our right. Oops, like that. 
So let's attach those. Now you can use score tape if you want. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. And I'm just going to lay my bead of glue right on there. But you are more than welcome to use score tape or score tape and glue, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to put this here so I can see it better. And I'm going to line that up just like that. Make sure my bottom's straight. Looks good. I'm going to turn this over so I can get that and get on that side. There we go. What we have is this now. Okay. We're going to do the same thing and we're going to attach it right on top of our pocket there. Now I will write the the measurements of these down in the description for you. All right, we're going to go here, match up our corners. We're going to burnish that, flip it over and give it another good burnish. So now what we have is this, just like that. Okay. Set that aside again. Our next piece, we're going to take an eight and a half by eleven, and you're going to cut it eight and a half by eleven, and you're going to cut it at four and seven eighths, and then again at four and seven eighths. So you'll get two out of this one: four and seven eighths and four and seven eighths. You're going to take that, both of those, and you're going to score at a half inch. Get to both pieces, half inch. Now this cardstock I'm using here, this black cardstock, is just Hobby Lobby's Hubby cardstock. And we're going to fold this over and burnish. Same with the second one. Fold over and burnish. And we're going to bring our piece back in. And then these are going to go, once this flap here is going to get glued right to this edge here. Right to this edge right here. And then this one will get glued to this edge right here. Okay. So let's get that done. There we go. Get that lined up there. Now what you have is this, okay? And I'll also put this way, okay? Ooh, what do we got going on here? A little bit, so we're gonna just finish it. Looks like it's off just a tiny, tiny bit there. All right. Try to get it to retrain itself there. Right, if not, if it looks too bad when we're all done, I can go. Uh, see, it doesn't hardly show in there, so I think we'll be alright. So we take this piece and we're going to do that on this side. I'm going to flip it so I can see it pretty good here. Put that right there. Line that up. Line that up. Looks pretty good. Yeah, 
and bring this shit down. All right. Okay. These open up like this. Here's our little pocket. I'm gonna close it up. Oh, that might be just a little tight there. It's going to be too tight there. I think we're all right. Okay. So now we're going to flip this over. Just straight over. So we're not going to, we're just going to go just to our left with that. Just like that. We're going to take another sheet and this time we're going to cut two six inches high by five and three eighths. So use your long part or your, yeah, Ooh. should be able to get two out of this. Okay. So. Your eight inch side is going to be where you're going to cut for your six inches and then you should be able to get two of the five and three eighths out of the other section. You have just a little sliver left. So you're going to have two pieces six by five and seven eighths. All right, and you're going to take those and you're going to keep your six inch edge so on your five and three eighths edge, you're going to score at half inch and four and seven eighths. Okay. On your five and three eighths side, half inch, one, two, three, four, and four and seven eighths. You're going to fold those over and burnish. base done. Right. So what this is going to do is going to give you two six inch pockets right here. Right on the back of your page. Okay. So let's glue those on. And you're going to bring those right down to the bottom of the page. Oopsie. You're just going to put a little dab of glue right along that bottom edge. Now you can put an additional hinge on there, but I just don't think we need the extra bulk. So I'm going to turn my thing so I can see this pretty good. And without touching my glue on there, I'm going to try to get this lined up to that edge. And along the bottom there. Right like that. All right, finish that down good. There we go. One pocket. That's our second pocket. Now I went ahead and cut all my decorative paper so I was ready. Um, and I just made everything an eighth of an inch smaller than the original cut. So I have about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. We're going to line this one up here. Put that down there like that. And they should just about touch there. Pretty close. Pretty close. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to flip it back forward. And our last piece. Our last piece is oopsie, cut nine and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So this is eight and three quarters by nine and a quarter. 
And this is the only one that's cut out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So that's what you need for that, is one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So on your nine and a quarter inch edge, you're gonna score at a half inch. and at five eighths. Okay. You just need a little eight inch gusset there. All right. You're gonna fold that, burnish it. And I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but just try to do it nice and easy. And what you have is that eighth inch gusset on there. You're going to bring your page back. This is going to go right on top here, but we're going to fasten it to the back side. So it's going to adhere to this back piece here. Okay. So what we're going to do is get it ready. Oopsie. And we're going to bring that right up over there and adhere it to the back side. Let's flip this over and make sure it looks good. Looks pretty good. I'm going to press on it. All right. Bring it back. And we go give it a little burnish. Try not to ride on this top edge here because you don't want to squish that back down. We're just going to gently avoid that area, but hit all the rest. There we go. And that is it. That is our folio. So now we can start decorating. Right. Okay. So here is my stack of paper. These are all cut and ready to go. And what I used was, I used two of the Authentic Collection Adore, the Kindred. So, two of these. This is one side, this is the other side. I used two 12 by 12 sheets of that. I also used two 12 by 12 sheets of the Adore Collection Passage. So it's this side and this side. I used two sheets of that. I used one sheet of the Authentic Adore Collection Story, and that's the dictionary side and the, the hearts. I also used one sheet of, it's the Darling Girl double-sided paper. Now, I didn't want this side, so I never used that. But I did love these hearts, and I thought they went well with the other. I used two sheets, I think, of this. Um, and this is from the Everlasting Collection. And I also used two other sheets from the Everlasting Collection. Um, one was this one. Maybe I didn't use a different one, but if I come across it, I'll, I'll see. But that's from the same, that's from the same collection. All right, so that's what we used. Right, we're going to start, and I'm going to keep my other one handy because it's got my numbers on. What I did was I numbered it, so I know which paper goes where. And I'm going to take my stack, and I'm going to flip it over. And it tells me this is my first piece. Now this piece is cut eight and three eighths by eight and five eighths. So make sure I have this going right. And we're just going to line that up just like that. And we're going to move it down. Oh, I want to use. Let me take it off a second. Okay, just one second.
let my black sit here. Give it some and edge everything. Here we go. This is the only thing I didn't do. I think it'll give it that added touch. You know? It doesn't need a ton. Just a little bit. Make sure that my side's facing up here. All right. Looks like this one could have been cut just a little bit longer, but that's okay. I think we'll be all right. All right. We'll be adding some lace or something on here, too. I'm probably good for the bottom a little bit. I'm going to add some lace to the top, I think. So that's what will make up that difference that's missing there. I must have measured short. So if you're measuring that, we're going to need a little bit taller. So not eight and three eighths for sure. Let me see. I would go eight, one, two, three. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteenths. Just a little bit longer. But I'll add some lace up there. Now our second sheet is here. So I'm gonna move this down so you can see. Get up like that. Oops, let's turn it that right there like that That's number two so let's give this a little authentique is one of my favorite papers too i have a couple favorites but authentique is one of the top three for sure And we're always coming up with new things. And it's hard to resist. So hard to resist, I know. Oops, let's put it back this way. Got to twist it around here again. And it's just going to go right like that. Page two. Page three. Are these two panels here? And that is just the hearts. It has the butterflies on the back. strip down there something a strip of a decorative strip there sticker or something all right that happens sometimes I had it written on my notes too and just didn't look back at my notes to stay about an inch away from the edges just so the paper lays down a little nicer makes it a little easier whoops this one's gone Let's, uh, try different. Uh, that last tape there was um, Kaiser craft and it's very sticky tape 
Um, I like it. I don't know what the, the long-term holding power is, but I haven't had any problems with it. So I'd like to try out different ones. This is just the this is the score tape. Okay. I'm gonna bring this down. Press, and press. There we go. Give us a little press here. Press here. And that's going to hold our book closed. Perfect. All right. Well, at least I caught it halfway through anyway. All right. So now we can glue these on. Next is number four, and that's going to go this way. These are number four and number five. So let's do number four. That's this one here. Set that one aside over here. I didn't want this to be like too valentine-y. I kind of wanted it more like where it could be for Valentine's Day, but it also could just be for like love. You know, for could use it for uh, maybe an engagement too, or just something that wasn't just Valentine's Day. But if you want to use it for Valentine's, you can. That's perfectly acceptable for that too. I thought, you know, just just maybe love would be nice to get more uses out of it. This is number five. And it was easy for me to just do this and number the sections as I figured it out. And then just stack them up as I did it so I knew exactly where I had to go back to. Like I said before, everything's cut an eighth of an inch, or should be close to an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more, but an eighth of an inch smaller on both sides, on the height and the width. All right, here we go. This is really short there. It's hard to see. With that black, everything's black. It's hard to see where I've got to be. And there, this, there's that gusset there, and I keep that keeps catching my eye. But that's actually the top of my 
right there's the top of my look there all right so that's three four and five i'm going to put that back now we're going to do three four and five on this one so three is done this is number four It's nice that, I mean, I can tell you all the exact measurements, but when you cut it, it can be, depending on your trimmer and stuff, it can be just a little bit different than what my trimmer is. Um, they always say if you're going to measure something, make sure you use the same ruler all the time because it can be different with each ruler. So... If you know that it's just an eighth of an inch different, so it helps a little bit. And this is a free tutorial, so I like doing this stuff, but I don't, uh, don't have the time to necessarily make give every measurement stuff, but I will try to give the basic measurements of these because there's so few of them uh, for the basic layout of the folio. So I will put that in the description for you and where to score. And that should help quite a bit. All right, this is number five here. So that's three, four, and five. Now, we're going to open up, and I'm going to do one side at a time so you can see this. Let me close up this glue a second here so it doesn't get clogged. All right, so we'll do one side at a time here. And we're going to do, whoops, actually we're going to do the center first, so let me open that up. This is number six. This one is eight and three eighths high. They are all eight and three eighths high. Every single one of these panels is eight and three eighths high. I get a good drink here. Oh, excuse me, please. So these are all eight and three eighths high. And then this one is going to be cut by six and three quarters wide. And that's going to tuck right inside of there. And you're going to bring it back. And you don't want to hit that line there. I don't know if you can see that. You don't want to hit, you don't want to go to your line there. You don't want to go to your score where it folds because then you'll start blocking it. So stay about a sixteenth of an inch away from there. All right. So let's get this one in there. I don't need to do that edge. It's going to be tucked away. I was surprised how quickly this came together. Um, even doing all my measurements and stuff, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't like 15, 20 minutes, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, trying to figure out the measurements. and I knew I wanted it for four by six photos to go in. So, all right, whoopsie. Get that in there. Come on. There we go. And then we'll pull it back just a little bit. There we go. All right, whatever glue dries pretty quick, but it does give you a little bit of leeway there. All right, make sure my pocket's not glued down. There we go. All right. Now this is number seven, and it is eight and three eighths by two and one eighth. 
and that was just cut and I wanted to get the word the love words in there so that's the part I cut off of that and this is just from a, one of the scrap pieces um, that was from this cut it just happened to work out good where I could get those love words and if it's a small enough piece and you can get look through your scraps first if you think you can get it I didn't end up with a ton left over, and I'll probably just make some cards with what little bit I had left over. Um, but I did make a couple tags and stuff with it, with my leftovers. And I did try to use just the 8.5 by 11 paper and try to use almost the full amounts of that so there was no waste. Because even though I've got so much, I don't like to waste. All right. So now we're looking at, this was 6 and 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's fold this one in. Let's slide this over so you can see. Here we go. So here's our 8. So that one, 8. Here's our 9. And here's our 10. This is our 10, okay? All right. I'm going to just do these all up while I got it right here. me of circus or something. I don't know why. Maybe like the tent or something? I'm not sure. It's pretty. Alright. So eight. And remember to stay away from those fold lines. You don't want to interfere with either one of those. Should lay in there pretty good. Number nine. And I'm trying to make this quick so it's not a too long a video, but I didn't think it was so long that I needed two. Again, you want to stay away from your fold lines. Slide it up. And there we go. That's a nice thing about double-sided paper. You get two choices from the same piece. I like that. All right. Get this over there just a little bit. Go. Just so you can see a little better. It's on a flat surface. Again, you want to watch that fold line on your right-hand side. You don't want to interfere with that. All right. And there we go. That is 8, 9, and 10. And this is going to fold right back up. And we're going to go on the other side. We're going to open it up this way. So as you can see, oh no, you can't see. I'm going to get this side done to be able to see. All right. We've got 8, 9, and 10. So let's pull our tabs. There we go. As soon as we get these three on, I think we can flip over to the back side. Like I said, I didn't think it went together too bad. I 
Actually, I started working on this first today and uh, ended up <laughs> starting a mini album for a video, so um, that will be coming up here pretty soon. <laughs> I just started it. I didn't uh, get very far because I wanted to do this today, so I had to resist and uh, I stopped at one page and I'll get back to that this week. Here we go. Yep, just like this. Okay. Again, you want to watch out for those. Two score lines there, your fold lines, so you don't interfere. And I know I'm repeating myself, but maybe I'm just reminding myself. All right, so in that goes, just like that. A little puppy, but I expected that. Okay, so slips open, and then these are gonna open up like this. You can't see that very well. It opens up quite wide. Let me see if I can measure that. Right there's 18, 18, I think over 35, over 35 inches wide when it's open all the way, so that's pretty good. Alright, so that's all done there, so let's flip it over, and all we got left is this part. So this is number 11. And it's going to go right on there. This piece is, where did I just put you, number 11? It disappeared. Oh, there it is. Two and seven sixteenths inch high by eight and five eighths inch wide. Now, this is not going to tuck underneath those pockets. It's going to come just right out to the edge of it. Right, so it's going to almost sit on top of those pockets, but not quite, okay? And you could add more pockets in this if you want. I just wanted it more for pictures. So here we go. We're going to bring that down. We're going to leave about 16th of an inch all the way around. It will just about touch those pockets, but not quite. All right, there we go. Now, I cut two of these four and a quarter by three and a half high. So those are going to go at the very top here, okay? What we're going to do is put another pocket on the bottom there made out of just decorative cardstock and I know typically we don't have pockets on the back but I just wanted something different um, just another little feature you know. 
All right. So we're going to come about sixteenth of an inch away from each edge there. I'm going to lay that down. There we go. Same here. Now, these two are cut three and a half inches high by five and a quarter inches, and you're going to score at a half inch and four and three quarters inches. And you're going to fold that in, and you're going to just line that up from the bottom going up, and that's going to create your pocket. Okay? Whoops. Actually. Here. All right, let me do the top too. There we go. I think I'm going to have this go like this. There we go. Now, this one. And again, we're going to run a little bead right along the bottom there to seal the bottom up. And if you want, you can put a hinge on there. You just have to add your half inch. Now you're still going to bring it up like a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom. Get that edge there. All right. Almost got her. Okay, and this one is going to go that way too. All right, just like that. So again, we're going to put our glue on here. And this one. And a little bit down the bottom. There we go. About a sixteenth of an inch up from the bottom. And we're going to line it up there. Right. Yay, that is it. All right, now what I did was I took my graphic 45, um, uh, this die, the large tag, and it is number 4501687, the large tag die, so it's got the flowers with it. Took that, and this was this was one of my scraps. These were all from my scraps. And it wasn't quite as wide as my die, as you can see. It just fit just inside there. So what I did was just let it sit inside. And then went up to the top. And then I didn't I didn't want it to go all the way down the bottom because it would be too tall. So I stopped this one at six and a quarter inches. So and this will slide right down in that top pocket just fine. Now, I don't have the big tags that go behind these. I just have this some. So, and I think what I'm going to do is take my corner rounder. And I'm just going to round those corners off there. Just to kind of tie it in with the upper corners. And that's one tag for there. But let's, let's give it a little black set here too. And if you don't have one of these guys, you can make a regular square tag or just design your own top. Um, I've done that many a times. In fact, I haven't had these dies that long. And, uh, there we go. But, but it's not too bad. So we're going to slide that in there. And then I made two pink ones. And I just cut those shorter. Those are, oh, what's the length on these ones? Five inches. So I did the same. Only I just cut them down to five inches. Because they weren't as wide as the um, die either. 
which is fine. I still got to use up some of my scraps. And um, they fit in the pockets just great. So there we go. There's that one. Let's finish this one. There we go. It's so got two tags there, two tags there. We're going to flip this over. We're going to go back to the inside here, back to our center panel, and we've got this pocket. We've got four tags for there. I've got two of these and two of these. And that was just done with the, the smallest one here. And you could, you know, cut down pictures or journal on them maybe. I'm kind of in a pattern for journaling, but I just thought they'd be pretty in there. I hope I should do the back side too. Now you could journal on the back of that one, but you could cut down a picture of somebody. Actually, we can just uh, do it on the beach. Now, I don't think I want to do too much on the decorating because I don't want it all puffy, but we're going to do some decorating on the outside here. All right. So there's four tags in there. And you easily got room for, I'm sure, a 5 by 7 Let's see here. For sure. Yeah. Maybe not a 5 by 7 but... Might be able to trim one down to a five by seven and put that in there, but it will hold four by six. All right, so that's those. Got to do that. Let's get a piece of lace for the top here. All right, I think we'll go with. place here is just it's from Hobby Lobby and uh, I think that'll be pretty on there and we're gonna cut that off right here okay. well, I'm tempted to glue that on but I don't want to so let's see here this stuff is supposed to work for lace and everything else. But this lace is pretty delicate, so I don't really want to use hot glue. Because I don't want to turn yellow. All right. So we're going to press that down. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, let's put it on a little bit heavier here, especially right along this edge here. I think I got about the right distance. It just didn't have, I don't think I had enough. Yeah. Let's see what happens now. I'm just going to go in underneath these hearts and just tack that down like that. So put a little bead there, right where it's a little heavier there. I'm just going to put a bead of glue on each one of those bases of that heart there. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. There we go. And then tack that down. That way it's not visible. All right. All right. We got some red velvet ribbon. What else we got here? And I don't need a closure because of the magnets. So 
I think it's good. And I had a large... A doily. And I thought about doing that. Now, lace this on there. I might have to change my mind. Huh? Yeah, we could still get away with it. Okay, well, let's do that. We'll get all of the heart. That'll be good. Part of it, maybe. And we can glue those back down. I have pink and red too, but they just weren't the right colors. So let me make sure I got all these little extra pieces out of there. And I'm going to mark with a pencil where I can stop with my glue. Like right here. Right in here. Alright. I can see that. No. <laughs> That's all right. All right. Okay, so all of that. So let's just kind of trim it off now. So I don't want to do so like this. Okay, trim that off away from there. And then I can re trim it. Get the other excess off there, but then I stay kind of away from there. This is very thin paper. It's very thin. You know what? I don't think, no, I'm just I'm gonna do something else. That makes me nervous being so thin. It's just gonna show the glue through. All right. I do have, are thinner too but I'm just gonna throw this white one on here and then we'll use that as a base and add some other things to that there we go that's a base and I like the red but I think it's the wrong red this and this is from Hobby Lobby. It's coming off of there. Like that. Start to come off of there. Right, maybe I'll get one. Let's flip you up while that's drying. And decide what we're gonna do here. I've got those other stickers too. So let me grab those. See what we got here. Let's um. I think we can use these hearts here. One on there, and let's do the true love. True love. And that'll cover up those magnets, I think. Nope, I have something else. Hmm, I wish I had something longer. Let's see. I don't want 
just marry that. Mm -hmm. I want a strip of something there, something long. You know what? I'm going to use this part of the sticker sheet here. Cut that down. still use the uh, hearts that the, couldn't use just the hearts because the tape would have shown through but now I can cover the tape and the magnets there we go and then put I wonder if they'll still hold if I do see here. I have to watch so I don't put too much between my magnet and the other magnet. Otherwise, and those are pretty big magnets and they usually do pretty good, but you don't want to block your magnets there. Well, that says true love. See that? It's cute. All right, so that little problem is solved. Now back to the cover. See how thin that is? And that just showed through. So we're going to cover that with some other things. Um, let's do this banner for, it says forever. I just covered in that. Uh, and I'm just going to put those like that for cover. Kind of like it's wavy a little. I like that. Hmm. I think we'll glue those onto a string. Right. Piece of string. All right. Glue those on and cut that off. All right. So let me set this aside so you can see what I'm doing here. Oopsie. I'm just going to take some of my glue and then just glue these down there. Just like that. And I'm, oh, I should have, at least the white ones. Red ones like that. So worry about the black ones. And then I'll just cut off the excess. I'm going to have them just touching on that. Just like that. Whoops. Not to my finger. Alright. Okay, 
this might be a little bit of a long video, but you can stop it and continue it any time you want if it gets too long for you. Sometimes when I'm working on a project, I just like to finish. All right, but you are. Oops, that was silly. Lost my train of thought and added a whole bunch of glue on that one. There we go. I'll leave a little space. Do my ever. I didn't get much thought to how it was going to decorate. I knew I don't want a ton, but you got to have something on the front. And then you can always add, I'm going to let that dry just for a few seconds while we come up with some other ideas. Oh, well, let's see here. stickers I think for my north. Oh, that's kind of cool for my north. Nice black. Okay. Come out. And these stickers are part of that uh oh, it's the uh, Everlasting paper. I'm going to pop that up a little bit. I'm going to pop that. Okay. Yeah. I probably only need one on the bottom of that. Right there. And since it's black, I'm not going to worry about it. Angle like that. Okay. And I don't want to tie the knot. I thought there's some um, love you so much like that. Okay. dry now. Just like that, I think. Okay, so let's add a bead of glue all along the back there. All along there. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. I have to get my Well that creates too much of a mess. I've got to get that cleaned up there. Oopsie. Stop sticking to my finger. Yeah. Let's just cut that off at the edge. There we 
go. Set. There we go. And we can take this pearls at the very end. And no, those are too stiff, I think. All right. I think I'm gonna put this down there. Well, Maybe just add a couple of flowers. That just says I love you so much. What else we got here? Let's do let's do these other two hearts here. One's plaid and says X's and O's. The other one says love. So let's put those down there. And we're going to add pop dots to those. Whoopsie. Oh, I know why it didn't go. Sticky's still on there. There we go. There we go. And where do we want those? Where are those looks like? Nose and maybe some love there. That's not so bad. What else we got? I'll use that one. We got together, devotion, everlasting love. No, I kind of went just like that. Uh, do I have any black flowers? I do. I got gray. These are Prima flowers. Let's use the gray ones. And then I can start to mix those three. And then I think we'll be all right. This is the Prima item number 634544. It's got a couple gray flowers, and then I'm going to go with this striped one, too, I think. There we go. Oh, and I want my hot glue gun. And it's not plugged in. All right. Well, oh, chit-chat a second while we do this. So I don't think I need anything more on the inside. And I think once we add these flowers, I think I'll just... Uh, Not sure how I want to do the flowers. Maybe like that. I think that won't be so bad. <clears throat> and I think that's will probably do it. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to glue those three on, and then this will be finished. I want to thank you for joining me again, and if you would. Consider uh, subscribing to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And this is, um, like I said before, it's authentic papers were used for this folio. And uh, if you can give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad you could join me. And until next time, I'm going to keep crafting. And I hope you will too. Bye-bye.